whichever direction you're going to go, you're going to draw on your design experience. And what's interesting about it is that your characteristic is you are perfectionists. I don't know if someone's ever told you that. Perfectionist means you're going to spend a lot of time trying to get it just right. And uh, it's a design profession because there's no answer to it. There's no answer to it. And so it's you who are developing an inventory of design ideas and then application. So when you start out, just remember, there is not an answer. There's a, probably a better way of doing it. And that's what you're going to try, try to learn. It's a, uh, a thing, a profession that takes time, and it takes a lot of your time to do special things to get it just right. So you don't get frustrated. I always got frustrated because, man, I was running out of time. I wanted to get it right. I was working right up to the very last minute. And so that's one of the characteristics of our profession. And all of you in here right now will learn, and you'll meet new friends, and these friends will be with you throughout your life, and you become great buddies and in the profession, you'll keep up with us. Anyway, that's my little introduction to the field of design and art. One of the things that, that I profess, and one of the things that you have in your hand, is a thing <coughs> called a sketchbook. And a sketchbook is a document that you enter information into and you later refer to it and it helps you develop an uh, inventory. Now your brain, you think your brain has got good capacity. Your brain has a lot of capacity, but sometimes it gets overburdened with lots of information that you're trying to recall back. That's why we have books and documents. But your sketchbook is a thing that can do all kinds of wonderful things. This past summer, I happened to be in London, England, doing a tour of architects and non-architects. And I asked everybody to bring a sketchbook along. Well, this little sketch right here is a, from a rooftop in a building in London looking at the city of London. And it's a cityscape drawing. Okay, it was done about 10, 15 minutes. So now I've done that, I kind of remember it. You've done some drawings in your sketchbook. You other people have, students have drawn drawings in your sketchbook. You want to maintain the ability to transfer what you're seeing, what you're analyzing, into a document so you can later refer to it. A sketchbook takes different shapes. This is a pretty big one. Um, here's a little one. <laughs> and so this happens to be Chicago in here, right? This is Chicago, walking along. Uh, here's this walking along with marks in it. Just, sometimes they don't make any sense. You know, the sketchbook is your document. You're not doing it to make it uh, happy to any, anybody else. It's, it's your way of recording information. They come in different sizes, uh, different shapes. This is a, I love this one particularly, because there's a museum out in San Francisco called the De Young Museum. And the siding of the De Young Museum is in copper. And copper is an incredibly durable material that lasts a long time. So anything that lasts a long time is very durable, probably even a little more expensive than paper, right? But here is this sketchbook. It's made out of the material of the building. I'm just thinking, wouldn't it be cool if you would do your own sketchbook? Get some paper, put it together, and make your own cover. It would become very unique to you. No one else would have one like it. So this one is kind of cool. And there's all kinds of things that are in this one, too. Uh, I love drawing in a, a lecture. So here's a lecture hall for a 
general session. This is, oh, this is also in San Francisco. So I was drawn with a black rollerball pen, just sitting in the auditorium. And uh, the, the black lines here are done with a Sharpie marker. We'll talk about that in a minute. And I draw the people, sort of, so I can remember who, who they are. It's kind of an interesting way of recording information in the sketchbook, okay? So what are you gonna to do today? Was it 4.30? Mm -hmm. At 4.30? What are you gonna to do today at 4.30? You know what you're gonna do. You're gonna pull out your sketchbook. You're gonna sit in the auditorium. I know you're gonna get what, a credit, an hour or something. That's good. The main thing is that you're gonna do it, and you're gonna draw it, and you're gonna have the fun, and you're gonna sit there, and you'll be able to say, gosh, the shape of this auditorium is like this, and I'm drawing it, and then I'm gonna put some notes on it. And as the lecture is going on, you're gonna say, wow, that's cool, or I don't believe that at all. That's kind of neat, you know. Take your iPhone, throw it out the window, take your iPad, throw it out the window, because now it's all manual. It's all your hand and your brain and your eye working working together. Before we go on, I'm going to ask a question. Uh, Sally's pretty good at this, at this asking questions. Do you have any questions right now of anything I've said? Oh, so you all agree you're going to take your sketchbook at 4.30? <laughs> yeah? Is that right? Yes. Say yes. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. <coughs> so, can you hear me okay? You did? The question over here? Yes, ma'am. When you sketch, what's the first thing you put down? What's the first thing you put down when you sketch? The very first thing will be whatever drawing tool I have. And I put the, the, uh, the date down. Uh, I try to get what the temperature is, the weather is like. Like today would be what? Gosh, it was 66 degrees this morning. Unbelievable in August. 66 degrees, partly cloudy. I'm getting in tune with the day. Today is the 28th of August. I'm now in tune with the day. And then once in a month, I got to get started, right? You, you will. And sometimes when you'll hold up paper, you say, gosh, what am I going to put on it? Well, that's a way of getting started. You put your, put yourself down. And then, then maybe, then, oh, where are we? I'm in room 111, large auditorium, put it down. Who's talking? Who's talking? Who's the lecturer? Oh yeah. So I, I might be there. Who, who knows? I might uh, appear again. I might walk across the stage, you know, like like Vanna White with the board, you know. Like this one. <laughs> so anyway, that that's what I do. The first thing I do, I put the date down, what, what's going on, just to kind of like <clears throat> work. So, any other questions? I like the questions. There's nothing you've heard this before, right? There is never a bad question. There's another one right on the front row. Sorry. Sally Ann, Mary, and Julie White. Oh, your name. Your name. Rebecca. Rebecca. Um, were you always good at drawing? But <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what I was to do was pick up something for a young lady. Um <laughs> no. <laughs> but I was drawing when I was in high school. Strange things. I was went back, you know, we all, you know. But when I got in, into college, I loved to draw. And my favorite drawing tools were crayons. You all have your own crayons? You smell of crayons? It's on their supply list. Huh? It's on their supply list. It's on the supply list. Mm -hmm. This material here is all supposed to pray on. This is oil pastel. I don't know if you all smell it when it came up here. It takes you back to the 12th or you know, second grade, you know. You took the crayon, take you back to the crayon, and you put it on the radiator, 
you don't know even what a radiator is. <laughs> you put it on something and it melted, you know, and got in trouble for doing that. But, uh, but crayon and chalk. And you know what the cool thing was? When I was in third year or junior of architecture, brown wrapping paper. You know that big the brown wrapping paper? We didn't use Bumwad, Trace, or anything for presentation. And so we used chalk, brown paper, crayons, just pad, pad it, you know. Not tinned. We never were allowed to use hard pointed pencils. We prefer to use nails. Calm. What? What? Okay. Shh. Shh. Sorry. Uh, well, soft pencils are great because they're conceptual. Okay, any other questions that will kind of... Do you think it? they can learn to draw if they don't know how to draw? Absolutely. Uh oh. You, yeah, it's a skill you develop over time. Mm -hmm. So that maybe uh, start with you, your question. Do you, I can't draw, so I said. Not yet. You're wrong. You can't. And what, are, what if my people don't look like people? It's okay. Don't worry, don't worry about it. You ought to see the people that we used to draw in our studio. You know what it looked like? A straight line for a head. Just a straight line for a head. I'll draw it for you. It's the silliest thing you've ever seen. I'll use this blue. This is what our people looked like when we were in school. Isn't that the craziest looking thing? It's a person. It's got body, but not much of a head. Well, you learn, you get better, and uh, actually, um, in this wonderful little book, this is required. It is required. So I can find it here. Ah. It's on back order, apparently. Yeah, draw, drawing people. There's a section on drawing people here. And it's interesting. You draw people like in the auditorium today while you're sitting there doing that wonderful sketch of the lecture. Draw the whole auditorium, draw all the people. That's just a quick mark up and down. And then if you're sitting beside someone, you know, people have volume, have shape, shape it. They don't look like that so much. People look more like, like a head, and a body, and legs and feet, and then arms, right, and a hat. Pencil on it, for sure. You all can't see this. Don't worry about it. So, yeah, anybody can draw. It takes time, but it's enjoyable. Okay. You cool? Now, I'm going to try to project what I'm talking about so you all can. Uh... If you would like to move up, you're more than welcome to come up here and you can just sit on the floor. Yeah. Or not. <laughs> All right. Seriously, why don't y'all come up? It really would be a lot more interesting and valuable, I think. <laughs>